Hey folks, welcome back to Mountain Core, town of Noble Axe, and yeah, it's spring. We've got traders, and I have made a mess out of this area. <laughs> I want to move this guy a little bit further away from the pallets, and, and I've got a wall here already, and I can't just shove them down and move everything else down, and the only way is to go up. Now this guy is meant to be driven by power. How do I best show that? Power screen? Will it show me? It will. This red guy right here, just like this one that doesn't show up over here. I guess you got to build it first. Then it'll give you a connection point. And actually that connection point is supposed to be green. I think that is something that's being worked on right now. Saw a picture of one of I think it was this guy sitting this direction coming out like this. One was red, one was green, like the game is not recognizing it from a certain orientation or something, and that might be why that's there. A lot of little bugs being worked out in the background. I've been on the Discord today watching all that's going on, and there's a lot going on. Re release is, well, time you guys see this, I'm guessing it's tomorrow. If I've got my timing right, but May 18, this game is out. And out simply means that it's avail available for, you know, thousands and thousands of more to be playing it. Not that there's going to be a massive, you know, release or update or change on that date, but that it's available for everyone. Updates are happening sometimes several times a day. In fact, uh, today I saw a comment about when like when we had the corn right here and it was winter time and they were all starting to die yet there were still bugs on them and they were still coming out here to uh, to pick the bugs or you know to get the pests out of there and it was brought up why are we picking pests in the winter on dead plants and so within minutes an update came out and that's not a thing anymore so yeah the game is very active always being repaired updated and new ideas thought out there's one going on right now that is something I tested this morning. Stockpiles have a an effect that was not really intended, but it's it's kind of an efficiency issue. Something needs to go into a stockpile. See if I can even find an example currently. Um, what are you? You are a block. So you're being called to somewhere else. Oh, what's something that needs to go into a stockpile? This guy needs to go into a stockpile somewhere. He's obviously being called to go to somewhere. We'll see. Well, we'll guess it's this stockpile. It's calling for that block. Nothing else can be done with that block until someone comes to pick it up and bring it to the stockpile because there's an order attached to that block. Of course, that block's not a good example. If I had, say, a tool down here, a tool that is needed to build, oh a workbench down in here and it needs that tool that's sitting on the ground I can't get to that tool because this stockpile over here is calling for that tool to go to it so it's got to be taken from this ground this spot to there where the order is cleared and then it will be taken to the bench so once you understand that you can kind of backtrack and say okay there's my pair of pliers and tell it to high priority it and get it moving and, and everything's fine but uh, what it would take to streamline that in the game is not that easy because it's a core you know fundamental process within the the engine on how to sort and order and deliver and that's you know prioritize so that's that's going to be a, a core game mechanic that's got to be altered which cascades into every other part of the game so yeah some things will take a while to clean up or or make better over time but those of you who were around during the beginning of RimWorld or Banished a game kind of like this in that you know a colony builder and little little ponds walking around and they're doing their things and and everything's moving around and you know they, that game changed an awful lot from the very beginning to the end we're at the beginning of this one and i think it's going to be one of those kind of games i'm having a ball anyway i've been talking a lot these guys are trade oh you just picked up something a rolling pin i want that rolling pin give me that dropped it off into here 
there were some updates that happened today. Yeah, and she dropped off the money. Okay, that gold that was at, on the ground at the end of last episode, I see that got put in. It got turned into something else. Let's... 11 hemp seeds so far, and these are being called for next time. So let's say... Mm, hemp is a good thing, though. It really is. That's what turns into our linens. Um, but I would really like some linens. Let's say no more hemp. Um, but do bring it out next time. So let's just drop the priority down. Okay. Um, because we need a certain amount of silver. There's six, seven, eight in order to buy a, where are you? A hemp. If 15 and six is 12, that is, oh, I don't know, one and a half gold, we'll say. It needs to be accumulated in order to get one of these linens out of out of this trade so let's stop buying seeds which are undoubtedly a lot less let's find out can we 50 hemp seeds cost 15 so a lot less so we're only getting the hemp seeds out of this so let's if there's still time we still have anything else to sell then let's hang on to a uh, let's not buy any more of these and see if we can get one or two of these guys in. Um, I'm figuring a few things out. A few things that are oh, issues with the game that will be improved over time, but that I'm, I'm kind of coming up with workarounds to get by right now. One of them is the export pallets. For the longest time, we couldn't get them to make any blocks because they were... 12 of one and 4 of another sitting here, so 16. A 16 is the max that a pallet will hold. And actually, a pallet is only meant to hold uh, one kind, so just sandstone. And then you get another pallet if you want to have whatever another kind of stone is. Granite blocks. Um, but the more pallets you have, the more they'll continue to fill them up. So... A whole row of export pallets could be almost used as a stockpile all in, you know, in and of itself. So it's another way to convince these little dwarves to make the parts that you need. <laughs> um, tools are going to be a thing. I'm going to want a whole... I'm, I, I want to move... The next wall is going to be down in here. I want a whole series of, of export pallets because I want uh, to call for all the different kinds of tools that they can make. And then set limits for oh, maybe three each. And they'll just keep going until we've got three of every tool. And so we've got plenty to draw from. So long-term plans for this map. And where are we as far as... Okay, we have a shield. As things to sell, we have a fishing pole. But we're not selling fishing poles. I want to make sure that our fishers have fishing poles. Our fishers are... I go this way. Gasta and Gunberg. So, Gunborg, you are here and you do not have a fishing pole. You are hauling a plank instead of cooking and instead of fishing. So, I'm wondering if we just want to make them fish and nothing else. Oh, the fun golems just got a tofu update <laughs> today. These, well, all the monsters, I believe... We've only seen the one in this game, but they would be butcherable, but nothing would come out of them. That just hadn't been put into the game yet. We finally added a, oh, I don't think it's written anywhere where I can actually read it, but it is a tasteless <clears throat> meat-like substance that comes out of it. <laughs> Not too appealing, but you will get something for them now. Though I've never been able to get this guy to actually, uh, I wonder... Let's play with something. The stockpile <clears throat> puts orders into things, and sometimes it gets, I don't know, stuck. So if I were to take out this tile, so this is no longer sitting in a stockpile, let's see if it gets a new life and suddenly gets brought over to the butcher's bench. We'll see. In other words, there might be advantages, if, especially at the beginning of the game when you're still unloading the wagons and things aren't going to the to the benches to get things built and you're just wondering why delete the stockpile re-establish the stockpile all new orders go out through the game everything suddenly gets repointed to where you need them to be that's a workaround i haven't had a chance to try it in this map but i did try it in a brand new map this morning and it seemed to do the job 
Um, we want to get this guy out of here. <clears throat> Could rebuild it up in here. Could wait, build it here, and do the windmill. Run our water from the water wheel and run this guy from the windmill just to get two different uh, mechanical systems going and see how that works. Came across another tip, too, on the Discord. Irrigation channels will water three wide, so moisture will spread through three blocks. Ooh, I heard money. I guess somebody bought something, but they sold us something, too. There's 13. You're still selling us things, guys. Okay, fine. I'll turn you off. Why? There was 11. Now it's 13. Hmm. Now they're not obeying the priority system on the trade stockpiles. I thought that was fixed like a week ago. Huh. I have to bring that one up. But um, that was that shield too, wasn't it? Yeah. For the longest time, we couldn't get anything to leave these guys. And now all of a sudden, well, no, I take it back. The shield's still here. So if I were to, well, we did find that when I turned these off that one time, suddenly everything got moved out. So let's do that for a little bit while I'm talking and see if these suddenly get moved over to here. That could be. Um, it's not supposed to be. I was told today that these aren't stockpiles in and of themselves. They're no different from just a space on the ground as far as as controlling the item that's in it it's just a place to drop off but it's not a place to maintain or something like that so still whatever is calling it in this case it is that one right there does it say here you you <clears throat> one assigned to sales goods this must be sales goods any way it's going to tell me it's not but sales goods sounds right so selling it in the trade so it's assigned to it, but it's not getting moved to it. So if I turn it off, I wonder if it will cause the game to focus on that spot for a moment and rethink. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, irrigation. Water will spread three tiles wide. I caught a little tip on the Discord day or two ago. If you were to grow your gardens within one, two, three spaces of the river, well, they'll be watered. No irrigation channels needed. It takes a long time, unless your farms are all right here, and you know if you can just get them to deliver these materials, then irrigation isn't that difficult. Right now, it kind of is, just getting them to do the jobs. So if we had planted all these up in here, we might have had a lot better success last winter, and everything would have made it and uh, harvested. So. When you get the game in, well, a day tomorrow, I'm thinking it's going to be early too. Uh, early on the 18th in that, in the U.S., maybe midnight, you know, early that morning when it will release. I think that's what I saw as early as possible, but it depends on where in the world you are when that trigger point actually hits. Um, and then your very first game, put your, your, uh, your farm plots right there and see what happens. You'll have a lot better success than I did. Anyway, let's get this guy going. I'm curious to see what's going to happen right here and here. Still, you know, one shield sitting in there, one plane. Oh, and <clears throat> one rolling pin. Let's set you to any. Just out of curiosity, you were a... a hammerer. Oh, you are visiting. Interesting. You're getting a drink? What you doing? You're getting a drink of water. You're going to your close... Yeah, you are too. Journeyman merchants. They're all getting drinks. Well, that's another change that happened today. <clears throat> there was a map talked about in the Discord that water was so far away that the initial setup of the colony took so long because three times a day they reevaluate whether or not they need food or water. And they were walking across the map most of the day going to get that drink of water because there hadn't been a water barrel set up yet. And so it was talked about and decided let's get rid of the noon or the, you know, the lunch uh, requirement. 
So I think now it's just morning and evening. They're going to go think about whether or not they're hungry or thirsty. We're at 8 in the evening. Dinner time for them. So lots of changes happening all the time. The game is constantly progressing. Uh, this is, I believe, our last day of the trader. So what is here is here. I don't know what time they stop trading. I'm going to say they sleep around 10. So 20. No, so 2200. Yeah, we'll see if that's the case. They're not going to pick these two up. They did pick the rolling pin up, though. Somebody's got the rolling pin. I have never seen anything land in this stockpile. Where'd the rolling pin go? Hmm. <clears throat> not over there. And, well, we have six, seven, eight again. Yeah, we're probably done with this trade. Okay. So, hemp. Let's put hemp back in. Which, if you do this on your own and can't figure out how where it is, seeds, or say bags of vegetables. In fact, did I ever put that in? Let's do that. Bags of vegetables. We'll do seeds first, and then you can choose hemp. But it wouldn't hurt for starting up your own game to call for hemp and hemp linen to make the beds with. And then some vegetables to help you out, get you some food there right at the beginning before your own crops land. That's this guy down here, vegetable sack. And then you can choose, oh, potatoes or what have you. And then you got something to toss into your soups. What do we got going on over here? A cauldron and a cauldron. We have nothing going on over here. So that's another issue I wrote in about. We'll see if anything happens. These guys constantly reset themselves to the normal level instead of the high priority like like I want problem with normal well <clears throat> a problem is I set everything to high priority so the problem is me normal or what do we yeah normal priority should be your baseline it should be what everything is is running at in fact if anything we should be setting other things to lower so the normal is high but because there's so many highs we never get down to the normals so I want to set this permanently at the highest. It's one of those tasks that needs to get done all the time. Your cauldrons, all of your water barrels, and filling all of your import inputs. That's what I would want to be constantly on high priority, as well as getting all the gardening done. And then once all those you know required things are done, then you can get into all the other tasks and what, what have you. But those I want locked in on the very highest priority. And unless I babysit this, these tend to drop back down, then they get ignored. And now everyone's sleeping, going to sleep. My junior man sh chef is going to sleep. Level 50. Impressive. Gunborg. Yeah. I don't, I, I wish she would fish more, but she's actually the most important chef. So, fish, Gosta. Let's... Well, we kind of did tell Gosta to do nothing but fish. In the sense that we don't have a brewery and we don't have a, uh, a tailor shop. So all Gusta can do is fish. So does that happen? Hauling a tin cauldron. Now that I don't understand. I mean, I'm thankful. Let's get it moved, but you're not a villager. Why are you hauling? Bye bye traders. So I, you're hauling it to here. Who is then going to, yep, Gasta? No, Siv. Who is a, I guess just a, a villager, so a hauler. So someone else is now going to get the order to do this. Now the kitchen has a high priority system for the room itself, which means that everything within the room should maintain high priority. But the dining room doesn't have that system. There is no priority system in here to tell this to always remain highest priority. So that's where the, the problem comes in over there. What are you? You are a shield and you're meant to be moved. Meant to be hauled. Okay. So let's just tell it to do that. Get these shields moved and get that over with. Set you back to a normal. That's supposed to go to here, which was the highest priority. So you'd think that, I think that's another issue. What is calling for, based on this priority, should be what gets set 
out here for the items needing to be brought over to it. You said this is very important then whatever is being drawn into this this stockpile should be very important all through the map. Salve is training with her pickaxe. I wish we could rotate. I wonder if we could. Let's think about that. I think we'd get a better profile shot if, if these were over here. Yeah. At rotate right there and there. Although, let's do that again there. And let's put a space over here so they don't get shot with an arrow. <laughs> All right. So let's get these guys done. And let's kick up the priority on those. And let's cancel this one. Okay, so we need to get planks going. That is what's holding us up right now. So many things calling for planks, and we're not getting anything in. So let's try what I was talking about. Let's add some tiles, like so. Let's get, well, the problem is we need to get them built. Let's build some more export piles, or pallets. Uh, boom, boom, boom. They're all going to be pallets, or uh, uh, planks. But we're... Hmm. We have 16 stuck over here. Again, two different kinds. They're meant to be just one, which is probably what's causing some of these problems. It's not That part's not working right. Let's demolish it. Shut it down. Those 16, plus maybe the one that gives us back from breaking this thing up, will then be distributed to wherever it needs to go. These guys are working fine. We are making blocks again. You are going to... Good. You're going to tear this down. I want to see if these guys... In fact, does it tell me... These pallets, these ten, four of them are, are assigned to construction of other export pallets. <laughs> One of is these. Two are assigned for an import pallet. Four of them are assigned for logs and to logs and planks. Assigned to logs and planks. That's a platform. Oh, that, that's that's a a uh, stockpile. Okay, so four of them are assigned to get to be brought over here. So this guy had claimed them and they weren't available to build anything else until they got brought to here. And that's the issue. So that's that's got to be worked out and that's going to take some time to work out. So instead, just figure things out. Okay, we're being assigned to go there. What if there went away? Just curious. Or what if it did this? What if it went away except for two spaces maybe not the two spaces that we're calling for those planks curious there's there we go assign no more are, are assigned to logs and planks let's go to the other one yeah that that assignment Planks are made from... Yeah, that assignment's gone now. So now we can fill you back in again. And... I'm thinking that those that were assigned to that stockpile are now free. And have been reassigned to something else. Anything ever make it to here now? Ah, three of them went to here. So we freed them up. So there's... It's it's awkward. It's, it's not the best way but it works it's a workaround it gets things moving again gets things building and in the process we're going to hopefully get some more of these guys built and if not we're in trouble <laughs> there's a board just sitting around and assigned to construction of beach archery target okay so hopefully you are making Staves. So let's call for no. Oh, let's just switch this one over to here. There we go. Now we have a pallet already built and ready to, to happen. We'll get these hauled away soon. There's 15 of them. In fact, since we're calling for something else at a high priority, they'll probably come and get rid of these just to make room, which means we get those hauled. Hauled to where? They're getting all hauled over here, but they're being used over here. Let's add that to this one. So you are going to be products and barrel staves highest priority and you are not going to be that anymore so right there okay get those going I know lately I've spent a lot more time figuring out how the game works rather than playing the game and you know maybe some of you are are uh, kind of tired of that aspect of it that's 
mostly what I'm doing with this series right now. I'm just learning how the game works so that I can next time play it and already have all this figured out. But uh, I think I would like to try to build all the things and then maybe by that point we'll shut this one down. There's really no ending point that I know of in a game like this. You just you just go. So maybe at that, at that point we'll start a new map and I will have a lot of this figured out. Our gardens will be along the river and we'll, uh, we'll do better. <laughs> okay, we got this going. And when we get the second one going, nothing's assigned yet, we'll take this one apart. Because they tend to... I see she really likes to use her pickaxe on this one. And... Oh, we place to store armor now. And... What else? Well, let's just... Let's see what happens here. Oh, we're making planks. And we're sharing. Oh. I don't think that was what was meant to be done, but... Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Now we need to get more logs brought in. That's another thing that is going to be slowing us down. Um, let's kick the priority up on these five or six trees. Rather than go chase down... What are you? Why are these such a low priority? I don't remember doing that. Something happened there. You there, you there. Oh. Because this stockpile... No... That one was low also. You're low. All of these are associated with this. And the priority system I put on this is transferring out there. Interesting. Let's take you to high, high, high. These went up by themselves to high. Oh, wow. I had not seen that before. I wonder if that is a recent change in that it is starting to travel through the game to the very uh, ingredients or the you know supplies to build the things if I were to change this guy back to a super low then these just these two logs that are made that are assigned to it drop down too now that's fascinating that's the way it was intended to work and I see now it's starting to starting to work cool all these little updates that are coming out. Seeing the the uh, the fruits of it. Okay, let's get you made bigger. And there is still the issue of it adding to your... Though I see it didn't do it this time. It didn't throw a bunch of something else in there. wonder if they got that one fixed. Hmm. So, let's get these rocks out of here. What's it take to do that? Well, there's five of them that are apparently being called to fill in spaces here or here. Yeah. Let's get those five moved. There we go. I do wish there was a way to adjust the scroll speed. This is a little slow when you've got a big map. <laughs> and this is a little too fast. So there needs to be a middle ground there somewhere. All right, what's happening over here? We have tilled earth. What? Oh, we're waiting to plant that one. So planting kind of slowed down and never got completed, did it? So what happened to planting? Hmm. I don't know. The 16 is still sitting here. Barley seeds, you are barley. Why are we not getting them put in? It is highest priority. So something happened there. If I were to turn barley off, it automatically goes to dig all these up. They're not part of this anymore. If I turn it back on, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> Let's see if we can clear commands in there. Okay. And we'll clear that one out. And out of curiosity, we'll just watch this for a little bit and see if anybody goes to pick up barley seeds. There's 16 barley seeds. Now, it doesn't say that it's assigned to anything. I wonder if something else is calling for the barley seeds and got the seeds locked up. Fungolum is still here, so that plan didn't work. Hmm. 
let's just make sure that that's a thing there. Now he's not in a stockpile, he's just sitting on the ground. And there's no other stockpile calling for it. So to me, that clears it to go to the very next thing that's calling for it. But it isn't a workbench that needs a specific item. It is a job. So that is a different mechanic. So I can't say that that's the answer. Let's get this guy brought up into here. And... Anyway... <clears throat> Oh, one last thing that I have read that you'll want to take note of. Well, or you can just wait and be surprised. You know, just kind of let my words just kind of, you know, flow right through you and not register. But there is a particular mushroom in the game that you don't want to pick. I won't say its name, but if you read the name, then it would be pretty obvious. So be aware there is a bad shroom in this game. And... It doesn't do well once it's made into a soup, so <laughs> just keep that in mind. Don't just go pick any mushrooms that you see. Some may not be the good kind, but how are these guys doing? Almost 60% on that guy. I've not done these before, so I don't know what happens when we get to 100. I like to say a bunch of mushrooms are going to pop up in here, but I don't think we've used this yet. Waiting for mushroom log. So I assume that once this gets completely inoculated, you drop it in here and then put it back down and then it starts to grow. That's what I'm guessing. You're done. You are going away. There we go. Demolish you. I want to see... She does a lot of training, too. This is our other one. Thorpe? No. Military? No. I saw that and saw, thought military. Okay. You are a carpenter. So, once it starts flashing, somebody will come and do this. Whatever happened up here? We hit that number. We're out of logs. Okay. So, we kicked this up in priority. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're all placing pipes now. Now, that's another thing. This list of jobs. List of hauling jobs. You know, this item that you're waiting to get put into the stockpile isn't happening and so that item is not available to build whatever because there's such a long list of jobs to do including a whole bunch of hauling jobs that I assign them to do and they're so the list is long that's why the idea of deleting a stockpile and resetting it might very well free up a lot of these things and you know kind of reset the list a little bit I'm curious if I were to do this up to about there. It's still the same stockpile, still has all the same orders. Let's let the game run for a little bit. Out of curiosity, what's priorities? So the same ones, the, the barrel staves all need to move. And then if I were to build you again, still same stockpile. We left a nub of it over there. It's going to now recalculate where all the stuff's supposed to be and why is it here and, and where does it need to go and and looks like there's more of them now. So more things have been reset. Yeah, so now we have different orders. Some of it might be directly benefiting some of these construction projects. Okay, so we have... We're waiting for the mining to... This got taken down. Okay, let's get the mining done here. And we have several miners, so that shouldn't take long at all. And then I guess take this guy down and move it. So let's go ahead and set him to demolish as well. Get these done. Though a lot of those miners also have the job of hauling, and they're probably halfway up here to put some more pipes in. Oh, look at that. We just might get a, an irrigation system by year four. Who knows? Okay, so they're probably... Who are our miners? Oh, we only have two. Osman and Halevi. They're good miners. But they're farming. And stonemasoning. And carpentering. Hmm. Can we add anybody else as a backup miner? about messing up things. You are intentionally 
meant to do these other things so you'll fish. We need to check up on you again too. For some reason I'm having a hard time getting fish into this map. My first game that I played, man, there were fish sitting everywhere. So something, one of the updates changed that. Anyway, you are a farmer and a weaver. Let's make you also a miner. All right, that adds three. And does that immediately make you reevaluate your life? Nope, that didn't happen. But we do have some barrel staves. That's cool. So let's I'd like to get these out of here, but we can wait on that. So this system is working good. Making the pipes, because the pipes never built up to 16. I'm wondering if a full pallet has a lot to do. Oh, I never turned these up. That's why they're not building. Come on, guys, do these. Um, and take these to wherever they're supposed to be. But I wonder if the pallet maxing out at 16 has anything to do with when problems begin. I don't know. Keep using the stuff so that the pallets never fill and you'll never have to find out if that's right or wrong. So this guy is down here. I want to mine out some more. So this wall goes here. That should be plenty of room. Well, now let's leave one more row. So let's mine out this. I don't know what's going to happen in here. I moved this again and put the barrel on the on this side of this. Yeah, this one's just a mess. So we got to figure out what to do here. I'll clean that up later. Oh, we're starting to dig out. Good. So you're still being called to be torn apart. Let's kick you up so someone will do that. Once these are all taken out while they're sleeping, I can possibly reposition that. You just built another cauldron. I think we're going to... Oh, that's right. So we did some talking today about limits. Cauldrons. There you are. Limit of four. This is global. This is not to do with blacksmithing. So this will say don't make more than four in the entire map. But this is not this is a tricky one to talk about because it at times is built in as a piece of furniture so it no longer counts. So that's just not a good example. But um you know axes. Let's make three axes and as long as there's three axes in the game then we're fine. But don't build any more. But cauldrons spend half their time as a piece of furniture, so that's just not a great way to yeah turn you back up again turn you up okay get these moving you have no food in it come on guys so we do have fish sitting here on the work top as well as some potatoes which we harvested oh will you look at that we harvested our potatoes i didn't even see it okay food is starting to happen the seeds got taken out did they get put somewhere else it's possible are you barley? That's wheat. That's barley. It just got moved back into the stockpile. Well, the stockpile's working. All right. Put you back in there. And so, why are we not planting seeds? Oh, well, it's spring. And it does plant in the springs. So that's not it. Hmm. I don't have that answer. Temporarily, I could say, hey, guys, put some barley seeds in there. I wonder if they will do that. I wonder if the existing plants here somehow have... I don't know. That is odd. And let's see if we can't get... Well, we... we Okay. This guy just does not want to be cut down either. Let's take you out of the picture here. Uh, remove tiles. You're no longer part of a garden. Now, can we chop you down? Clear you. Wait a second. Chop you. Let's see if that works this time. And for that matter, let's chop out some trees right next to the... Yeah, next to us over here. These never got done either. So, what is with that? Our choppers... Woodcutters, two. And they are also blacksmiths and carpenters. And they're blacksmith and carpenters first. Hmm. Let's reverse that. 
you're there. And if you forget which one it is, look for the one with the big number. So you, there, you, there. Wait. No. What did I do? I want these guys. You. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do that over again. Um, there. I want you to be woodchopper. You to be whatever else. So this guy. So over here, you're supposed to be this guy. And you are the one that you are. Okay. So yeah, 50, 30, 50, uh, 30, 50. So we got our woodcutters to the beginning now. I don't know. I've never asked if the first job on the list is their first and, and highest priority. I don't know if they're all even and it just whichever is the the nearest job with the highest priority that fits one of those three it could be something as simple as that i don't know so i haven't asked that question before you are building this guy and i need to now build this guy up in here let's take you up one more space let's take you minus and you plus and then let's build you up in here yeah i like you right there i don't know if that means they can walk through this area let's make it walk through this area you uh mine out this one space give us a walk through okay and i've moved these pallets up into here so they're fine so that gets that built and we'll kick that up and then this guy if we can get him demolished and hopefully get our steel tongs back if not well i need more pallets down here but i tell you what instead let's just re let's just make sure we get tongs being built and let's make sure that we've got oh saws being built now saws are something that i've learned about when they go to build a pallet right here the builder has to have a saw in their hand you always hear them rah, 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 when they're building something. This needs a saw to work. This needs a saw to work. And they need a saw in their hands to construct. So it's very easy to run short on saws because they're in people's hands and they're, they're not assigned to that job at the moment. So it would be good to have multiple saws. You know, what? how many saws do we have in our, our kingdom? saws alphabetical we have two and none of them are available right now now you can click on it and find out what that means one of them the steel saw is due for hauling so it's being held hostage by a stockpile uh-huh yeah you, you starting to follow along here so we could go to it you're sitting over here and you need to go to tool stockpile one right there so that one is being held hostage when we can't get any more construction work done because the tool they need is waiting to be brought to a stockpile so let's do a little experimenting here let's remove the tiles for everything except for that chisel well not that easy but there to there we still have tool stockpile one it still has all of its original orders stored in that one space so if you don't mess up and accidentally delete the last one let's hit plus now let's let the game run this should no longer be waiting to be taken to that stockpile now it's just a saw again so now someone could pick it up and go to work on a pallet in fact i might just wait a little bit see if it does get assigned to somebody maybe well, if I was building something that needed it, let's yeah, let's do that real quick. One needs a saw. This guy does. If I were to plus and do that and throw in a second one of these, he now needs a saw. And there is one available. Come on. There we are. Right over here. It's not assigned yet. Now, will the game suddenly assign it? steel steel though it doesn't say it's assigned but it is the only steel saw we have so i guess that's confirmation is it one available zero assigned okay maybe it just takes time i don't want to actually do it i just 
curious. So that freed it up if we had been waiting for that all this time. I'm not going to actually build that. Let's get rid of that. And let's take this stockpile back again. So there plus and fill this room once again. And it's going to distribute all those orders back into here. And we're going to find this guy soon is now assigned to stockpile one waiting to be hauled. So that is a way to backtrack, troubleshoot, and free up supplies to get a project done you've been waiting for. That doesn't tell me how to get this guy torn down, unfortunately. Um, I guess we're just waiting for the person that does that job to not have 15 jobs stacked up in their list. It's a guess. I don't know. Um, it's points of use are down here and we've got things built in them it's possible that's conflicting i don't know it may be possible that i could do boy that's let's do something different let's try another experiment military let's set up a new squad how does one do that ah new squad okay um Test subjects. Test subject. Okay. Not enough room for the S. We need to add more letter spaces in these names. Test subject. Okay. So I can't get anybody to do this. I don't know how to find out who would have been assigned to it. Um, a blacksmith runs it. But I don't know who demolishes. I'm thinking a carpenter? I don't know. Your highest priority. What happens if I were to set all these guys to the test subjects? And by the way, you can change the uh, emblem here. You can do a lot of, uh, of uh, you know, what do you call it? Making those very specific to what you want it to be. Okay, so now everybody's military. All their orders are being canceled. They are heading out for weapons training. Now I want to go to the military screen and the test subjects. And is there a fast, easy way to say you're no longer drafted? I don't know. Military dwarves, I guess this is the... No, that's not going to help me do that well I can just do this we no longer have the test subjects okay all right so everyone is back to their <laughs> no <laughs> they are all drafted now <laughs> how 14 are the noble brawlers oh what did I just do to myself okay I gotta sort this back out I'll be right back <laughs> Okay, so it was Solve and Magna Hill this year. They were the only ones that had uh, weapons assigned to them. So that's how I was able to sort through it. But, um, yeah, all of that just to find out if suddenly this would start flashing as someone's ready to tear it down because they had all their jobs cleared out. It's like in RimWorld, draft everybody, then undraft them. And then they will reevaluate their lives and figure out what their newest high priority is that didn't do any good there's still nobody trying to uh, uh, tear this thing apart anyway that will be done eventually I'll just leave it at that you now how can we tell if we are more than three away from a wall if I take this one out are we okay there um, that's an actual roof and that's an actual roof I built those over whatever like yeah, this guy right here. Oh, we need to put a roof here, but there's no support for it. I take it that's what that means. Because we've gone too far away. Maybe too far away from whatever was original over here. One, two, three, four. That could be. So if I were to pull this out, I think we'd be okay. Hmm. But tell you what, let's do this a different way. Let's construct a wall around this new place that is going to be like that okay 
This is now our new smeltery. And I could take this out and claim this space too and get rid of this pathway. Yeah. So you cancel and let's put a wall in um, there. Build wall up through here. Now doors go where? This is a door in and this is going to be here so we're going to punch a new pathway down at the bottom. Oh, someone's doing the job now. He's hiding in here. It is Folk. Okay. Folk? We'll call him Folk. He's good Folk. Yep, boom. Yep. Now I need this guy gone. Well, I really need some walls in just to make sure our supports are good. So let's kick the priority up in here and see if we can get somebody to deliver some rocks, some blocks. In which case, this guy is going to be leaving soon. And this is where that needs to be. So let's really think about the building materials. Barrel hoops need to be here. What else fills that? Rope probably needs to be here. Gears are made down in this area. So pipes should be down here too. And ingots and plates should be all down here. Planks and blocks are out there. Okay, so that kind of stuff could all leave here. So what started as just a dump all, get everything, you know, somewhere because we need to put it somewhere. Now we can start specifying. Linens could stay in here. I don't know where the, uh, uh, the tailory is going to be. It's not called a tailory, but you know, that works. No pipes, no gears, millstones. We're only going to make one and then we'll use it, so that's not a thing. Uh, ingots and plates. All of you guys can leave this area. Okay, so you are delivering, delivering, yeah, delivering all the pipes over here. Oh, so we just gave it a new place to put pipes, and so what, we're emptying what was sitting in the pallet, I guess. Okay, okay, yep, well, that cleared up a pallet, which allows more work to get done here. And slowly we're using up our boulders. We still have a lot of boulders up there. I wish they would head down here. I got this as a highest, highest priority, and this is a normal priority. Let's make you a lowest priority. So that I'm curious to see if new ones will just go here directly and not up there than down here. You were buckets, and you never really got used, huh? Buckets. Highest priority. Didn't happen. Odd. Okay. So we got all, a lot of supplies brought over. Okay, let's kick this up, get the next day going. And don't feel like I've accomplished anything this episode other than just talking about ways to accomplish things. <laughs> let's get these blocks moved in here. This stock file feels a little big. I'm just thinking about that. Let's get rid of some space. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, whoa, dude, slow down. Okay, yeah. Whoa. What? Oh, that's this. That's the noise. There's her pickaxe. And she is just going to town on that thing. What level are you now? Whoa. She was like a three or four at the beginning. She's a level 33 now. She's going to go kick some butt. In fact, where is Magnahild? Um, how best to do that? Click you, click you. No, that's how you change the emblem. What looks like a brawler? Well, actually, they're not really brawlers anymore, are they? She's better at the pickaxe now than she is a brawler. But I'm used to this symbol, so I'll leave it. But I need to, there we go. Where are you at? You're over here, and you're idling, and you have not been doing any training. So apparently an iron axe is not a weapon. Oh, that's something to keep in mind. All right. We're going to give you a pickaxe too. Which means we need to make some more pickaxes. We are making saws and tongs. Look at that. So the system is working. And we didn't set the limits. So let's do that. But you, I want to be pickaxes. And then high priority... Yep, and do that. So high priority is fine because we're only going to do it until we have. So let's just go with saws. Limit of four. That's an important one. Limit of four saws. I think pickaxes are the same. Limit of four pickaxes. Large hammers. I know that acts as a weapon. 
And we know the pickaxe acts as a weapon. I guess the tongs probably don't. Chisels probably don't. And apparently the axe doesn't. Okay, so these are our weapons in the tool category. Okay, keep that in mind. Let's grab four of those then because we may be using some of those as weapons until we get the weaponsmith going. Tanks, um, let's say three tanks. I don't know how many we have right now. We need four, I think, for the brewery. I just have to remember to turn this off again when we're done building the brewery because I don't know if there's tanks in anything else. Tongs, let's make sure there's always three of those floating around. Kitchen knives, nice to have three chefs going. I think there's one knife for the butcher bench and one for the workbench, worktop. But there may come a time when we've got the kitchen doubled in size and we're running a lot of chefs when we get our next wave of immigrants in. Speaking of, I need to check the food level, see how that's doing. I have a feeling we're not keeping up. Um, hammers, as compared to large hammer? I didn't notice the difference. Interesting. Let's make sure there's three of those at all times, three chisels, and the four cauldrons. Hoops, don't really have a limit on that. Let's, well, okay, let's go for like a dozen. A dozen hoops. That's a building material. Axe. Now, what if I'm looking at over here? I guess I never got to an axe. Okay. So, axes, let's make sure there's four of those for chopping trees always available. Arrowheads, let's do a limit of something like, I don't know, 50? Once we finally get around to it, we'll go 40. Go get around to... to crossbows and no actually that'd be bow and arrows it's uh bolts back yeah i might just go with let's go with 20 we might make arrows to sell and keep the bolts for ourselves for our crossbows anvils are used for some of the workbenches just make sure there's always two or three of those sitting around so that's kind of how the limits work you can verify where you're actually at when you go to resources so right now we have one hammer large hammer and it's not available almost nothing is available one of the saws is available one of the tongs is available they must be up in the in the uh, stockpile waiting all the chisels are available and there are no axes available hmm okay it wouldn't hurt to spend some time and just go find all of those tools wherever they got dropped are they just kind of sitting around in hallways and you know, bedrooms. None of the mining got continued on. I wonder if we have a tool shortage and we don't know it. It could be they can't find a pickaxe to go and do the job. And so they go off and start hauling instead or something else. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on that. Um, cauldrons. We actually have food, though. We have potato soup and we have two uh, potato soup and perch and potato soups waiting. We have four cauldrons. Okay, that's what I've been waiting for. They always have one ready to go to fill in the space, except that you have to... Well, okay, that, that did stay that time. Now we need a hauler to come by. You're going to top off the water there. I need someone to grab a cauldron. Come on, guys. There you go. And fill that space. And grab this one down into here. Perfect. And you are not going to tell me your priorities now. <laughs> you just brought in a hemp seed. So you're probably unloading this pallet over here. Yeah, we're down to just one. Okay, so that's good. That's working. So little by little with this many, you know, now we have 14 uh, dwarves are starting to get all the things hauled. If I would just quit giving them orders for a while, now we're both practicing. There we go. If I would stop giving them orders for a while, I bet you we'd get all the piddly stuff done. And then everything would start working again. I'm coming up with these workarounds probably just because you know, I've got them so loaded up with jobs that they can't do it the way the game was intended to do it, so I've got to find ways to short-circuit their, their uh, commands. That's quite possible. You are a Cassiterite Ore, which is tin. This guy is not up and running yet. Only one plate is available? Because they're all sitting in here. Bet you that's it. The other plate is right there. So we need to get 
building again, but we can't until we get the smelter up and running. So let's prioritize. Oh, we already have. Okay. So let's prioritize pickaxes. There we go. And you could be... Oh, regular axes, right? A regular axe. Okay. Let's make sure we've got our basics available. Fishing poles are still available. There's at least one sitting there. Though getting it hauled has been a problem. Set you back to zero. Set you back to a plane. You back to a rolling pin. And you back to a shield. Let's see if we can kind of reboot the system over there. And by setting you to zero... See if we can get you hauled away so that you're available to use. Because we don't have any fishing poles sitting around. We don't. Any fish in here? We have a fish. So it is kind of happening. No one's up here right now. And these materials never got hauled. Since they tend to work on the jobs that are closest to them, that may be kind of hard to get done. I may have to stop giving them commands for three or four days and just let it run. So they finally work their way up to this part of the list. <laughs> Might be a thing. So sawing is happening. That's here? No, that was building something. Thump, thump. You are... Sculpting a sandstone wall. Okay. But can I get somebody to mine these? Boom. Boom. Okay, these two just got done. All right, so I need to get these mined. You add tiles. So is any mining happening? Not really. We have these orders. Uh, cauldron. So these are all high orders, highest, and they're not happening. Let's take you guys all down, like so. You are already down. Take you guys down. We just made a tool. Made something. And now these are the mining orders that are the highest. Let's see if that changes the list a little bit. Yep, there we go. So one of those other mining jobs may have had a problem. Was locking them all up. Eliminated them. And now we're up and running again. I could probably turn these back on now. And they'll all get done. Like that. And they'll get queued next. Although we have this... Okay, we did that one. Now we're going to queue and head over here. Yep. So... We'll just say that orders get stagnant once in a while. And a refreshing gets them flowing again. You know, the toilet can get plugged once in a while. Yep. Yeah, I, I won't go any further with that analogy. Okay, I do want to get this guy done so I can throw a... a a wall in there and I do want to bust through probably here uh, there so we can get another access point into here we want to expand this and get the bloomery up and going again further away from our burnables this time so I need to move these guys down here which is why I'm leaving some more room and get all the wood away from the things that have fire in them. And see if we can eliminate some of our, uh, you know, our, our surprise fires in our settlement. So, we did get into here. Okay. Uh, not everybody has a bedroom right now. Or doors. Yeah. Um, let's set up some more bedrooms. You plus, let's grab that one and that one. Let's put a sleeping mat there and there. Let's put a bed there there and I don't think doors are a thing hey, he got on top of his mat the other ones don't well you're not you're on top you're on top you're underneath I was gonna say did they just fix that but no they're, they're still random okay yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> we still have two sleeping up over here yeah, so that will be solved once this rock goes away. All right there, let's clear all those out and get the hallways cleared out a bit. All right, and then you guys get into these guys. We'll get more building, our bedrooms built. We are summertime now. 
crop wise yeah we're taking care of the pests how are you guys doing 86 percent so maybe when these guys all harvest the whole thing will start to work again because you something got planted it's getting planted again it's almost like eliminating this space right here with that tree turned the system back on that tree was in the way you go back to nothing and you there we go add these back in and still the high priority and let's just continue okay it's working now a little experimenting now you're dropping things you're still dropping things off over here instead of here that is so strange i guess i'm gonna make a guess well that doesn't make sense either you know it doesn't matter the priority they want to go to a stockpile and they want to go to the closest one but these rocks would have come out of here so that's still the closest one so other ones have already been assigned to here and they haven't been hauled there yet and that is filling this up i'm going to guess that's the case let's get all the rocks hauled and just get that done so any more boulders sitting around waiting to get moved no okay so logs hauled in so we can get our our carpentry up and going again so let's grab all of these guys and see how quickly that gets done i'm sure i'm coming up on an hour here before long but you know, I, I might just run this one a little longer. Maybe we'll do like an hour and a half. This is the last one I'm going to record before the game releases, so let's have fun with it. Yeah, look at that. We're picking up lugs like we were meant to do it. I'm going to take them all to a stockpile or take them all to a... Right, right, to the pallet. Okay, no, and the stockpile. We're doing both. Oh, we're doing going to the stockpile, then we're going to the pallet. Ah... So, if we didn't use stockpiles, that one's full now. You're heading to a stockpile. You're about to freak out on me, aren't you? Uh, uh, ye, uh. Okay. Now, all these, okay, all these that are coming in, we're heading to the stockpile. Got to put it that way. Now we're going to here. Will everybody else go straight to here? That's what I'm trying to get to. So let's let's do some more. Oh, now we can't do them all because there's only one or two places that are actually calling for them in order to give us this system out over here to call them in. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get, I don't know, 16 or something there. So they still want to go to a stockpile first. I'd have to delete the stockpile completely and I don't want to because I'd have to set it all up again. So maybe we'll do that little experiment differently somewhere else. I'm trying to get rid of a step and have them just take it directly to here. But either way, we're going to get some more planks made like crazy. Well, let's make you planks. Let's make you barrel staves. And you are planks. So three planks and a barrel staves. And you guys are the highest priority. Bar barrel staves we don't need. Or I guess we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because they're going to go until we hit the limit. Which is un no limit. Okay, well, I guess we didn't set that one. Planks, uh, that was just an experiment. Let's go to 60 on planks. I don't want there to really be a limit on planks. But yeah, we'll do that. And barrel staves, let's keep a dozen around at all times. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about what I set this guy for. If we have a dozen already... Uh, products, we have 56. They shouldn't make any more. Okay. Highest priority. Let's see if they ever make another barrel stave. Now, why did she choose to put it here and not into here? Or did she drop it off and then she became a hauler and she hauled it over? That might be what just happened. There was a stutter right there. She walked by it. That could be. Okay. Plates. We still have 
just one because we need to get this guy built and we need planks available which are being made so as soon as that drops into here that yeah, it just got assigned so, I mean two are available now and pretty soon that other one's going to be assigned we should start getting things hauled over here there's the first block get this guy built again then we can start calling for more plates and more ingots plates let's crafting boy so ingots oh what kind of a limit would you do on ingots iron really it's any um i mean that's the sort of thing you just want a bunch of and not worry about but we'll go to 24 of those same thing here wish i had a copy paste and copper and so I guess copper out of this one too okay so we can get it out of native copper malachite and chrysalicola I thought there was something what was the was it like a galena or something I thought there was another name there you are silver oh okay okay so that's what silver is um i kind of remember that from like chemistry or something from long ago anyway you can go through and do all of this plates let's make sure we've got a dozen plates at any one time from all the different kinds depending on what metal we happen to be smelting at the moment Oh, I don't think there's too much of a worry about getting too many golden plates or silver plates. Don't have any of this, so we'll just leave it at that for now. Okay, so that's as far as the plates getting done versus the the ingots getting done versus, let's say, a different kind of ingot. Yeah. Are we running? No. Let's get that going. So in case we do start making copper or tin got the beginnings of tin right here so i just got to get some more mining done in this area and we'll start crushing tin are we crushing yet so we need another four planks four of the plates are set up for this one that's probably the plates that we that were in it before where are they sitting i don't know but it'd be nice if this 12 was available for other projects but it says there's four or seven available now there's seven iron plates sitting here that's not what I said before was it did I hmm ah, don't ask just just be thankful <laughs> okay how are we over here 70 percent so don't rely on mushrooms as your uh, your source for food next next spring you know, or, or through the winter like I was thinking at first that kind of went away and this kind of bugs me but so does that prioritize that one but I'm thinking I want to clip this off to make the walking through here just a little bit easier it'll do some more so much bouncing around so we'll take that out but we don't have to set it for a high priority we have a weapons rack okay first time I've had one of these weapons racks do tools and weapons it's something I learned today because I thought that you could use weapon racks as tool racks Turns out, the only tools that are allowed are the ones that actually be used as weapons. That makes sense. So there isn't officially a tool rack, but there is a place to hang your pickaxe because a pickaxe can be used as a weapon. Um, I'll dismiss. I hate hitting dismiss. It makes me feel like I've just told them to go away, but I'm pretty sure that dismisses the message and not the traders. But tools available as weapons are the axe, the kitchen knife, the large hammer, and the pickaxe. Uh huh. Those early hunts, we sent them away, or sent them into battle with uh, axes. Apparently, it didn't do any good. <laughs> when we're going after that, those six fungalums. Yeah, I was just thinking about something else. We're we got military trained here. It's seven in the morning. That are the military? No. Where is Magnahild? That's Magnahild. Where is Solve? she eating i don't know we could go do some hunting 
and they now have the skills to do something. They don't have any armor though, so I still can't send them after a wild boar. I think those tusks will kill us. But we could go and take this buck down that made a laughing stock out of us last time. Let's do that. You are now a target. And that should send our military after them after it immediately. Okay. We'll run over here and just verify that she is on her way. Moving into combat. Okay. And you are not. You not. There they are. Yep, they're on their way. Okay, there's that going on. We did get this built. So what goes on down here? If this is the tool forge, I'm thinking this is the the weapons forge. That makes sense. And then this metal and supplies will come out of common pathways and be stored down in this area eventually. We'll fine tune a stockpile just for those so they always get dropped right here. In a perfect world, that sounds good. Which means I need the what? Uh, armory. So we have a we have a lot. We have the weapons forge. We have the Fletcher's workbench, and we have the leatherworking station all associated with this. So there's a big room going to happen right here. A lot of potential to burn everything down all at once too, and I have done that in a practice game. This guy will light this guy on fire every time it seems. So, but I'm <clears throat> yeah, same layout. I'm looking. I'm trying to figure out where to put the door. So I'm thinking the door goes right here. That's. I spent a lot of time knowing what I'm aiming for, but not telling you, then explaining it all to finally get to what I'm aiming for. Where's the door go? Yep, that was it. Build walls. Walls. You have to build the walls first. If you just stick the door in, it's red. Oh. And you can't put a door in. If this drives you nuts and you you, you, you want to rage quick because it won't let you do what you could do in RimWorld, a door needs a place to enter it and a place to exit it. And right now, there's nowhere to exit it. So we can't place the door yet. Got to get this guy out of here. So you priorities. Do that one. And cauldrons. Check. And that water bucket's been sitting there for a long time now. These are the hemp seeds. And they have a high priority on them to be moved. Why is that? That doesn't make sense. There's no hemp being called for anywhere on this map how are you guys doing we have one barley seed left we have okay I'm, I'm we must have been up here last time let's add one more uh, one more tile that takes care of the last seeds otherwise there's one corn seed which we're going to save and next time we'll buy more corn right there so tomato hemp is still in there but we're not going to Let's just make that go away. I don't want to buy any more hemp seeds. I really want to buy some linens. Yeah, when they come next time, I'll try to remember that. Um, oh, there's gold in there. I guess we'll go this way. A gold coin and two silver coins. Okay. I'm pretty sure a linen... Hemp linen is one gold and three silver. Or what I think of as 13... I think of the gold as 10 silver. I'm not sure that's true or not, but that's what makes sense to me. Anyway, <clears throat> I need that one done, and we need to keep track of our mighty hunters. Where we found the deer. Our hunters have gotten lost in the forest. They're still over here. Okay. So over here... Yeah, someone has been queued. So now that we've got... I guess a lot of jobs cleared out. There's our fishing poles. They're available again. Things are starting to happen. So it could be that I had so many orders stacked up that, you know, we were just, everything was just bogged down. That's very possible. So don't blame the game for everything. Sometimes it's operator error. All right, let's get you moved out of here and you. And where are our fisher peoples? Fisher, you are hauling an awful maple bucket, and you're hauling a perch. So, Gunborg Steelsmith went fishing. No, just 
hauling it. That's all. <laughs> you have dropped it off. And you are now build, hauling a rough stone boulder. And Gusta is <clears throat> hauling a boulder. So again, how do we make them fish? Any problems with our fishing poles? No priorities on them. Our fishing spots, or if that is what these are, we have plenty of them marked at a higher priority. I have not figured that part out. Though we do have a fish in our fish barrel. So there is one waiting to be butchered. So fishing has been happening. Just not happening at the rate that I was hoping. I was hoping that... Where are we? We're down in here. Not Gunborg, but... Uh, fish. Gosta. There you are. I was hoping by not having villager there that he would only fish he wouldn't do any more hauling anymore he would be sitting idle if he had nothing nothing to fish any of you have any thoughts or ideas as to why that is i would love to hear them there's no way to weave and there's no way to brew and there's no villager a villager is hauler so that part i don't know i'll have to ask about that one but I can sense I'm getting tired. I need to probably get this shut down soon. But let's go ahead and just do a last few things. Good size area down here for this next shop. Next workshop. That in there. And also need to get bedrooms placed. Let's priority wise. Priority wise we don't need more bedrooms yet though. So priority-wise, let's get this area done. Okay, so next time we'll get work on that. Um, we could set these. I guess we had, I set these. I was going to say, didn't I do these? So, bedroom plus mat bed. And I'd love to set all the doors. I'm just afraid that we won't be able to build anything with blocks ever again once we set all those orders. You know, we haven't even got the, well, priority-wise, yeah, I just I just set those to high. But we haven't got the blocks hold of these yet. Did get the blocks hold of this, thankfully, and it's up and running. Have not gotten this going because we still don't have any planks, though we are making them. Just a matter of getting them... Ah, we've got quite a variety coming in. And that's a problem, too, because they like to build with the same material. This needs, come on now, four of the same something. And if there's only three of these and one of those and two of those, then, yeah, two of those, one of those, two, two, two. Oh, boy. Yeah. Two. Hmm. Okay. Little by little, but... I guess the more we get hauled in, the more chances we're going to get enough of the same kind to overwhelm that problem of having so many different kinds of wood sitting in our stockpile. But eventually, that's going to get satisfied. Three are available now. Okay. And I might be able to do that trick again. If I were to remove everything... But one, let it sit for a little bit. Does this suddenly get satisfied? Now there's four available. Because they're not being called to a stockpile. So now what's it take to get them assigned? That I don't know. I don't know what is the mechanic for the assigning. Oh, four are assigned now. So now that they're assigned, if I were to... Don't do that. Don't you destroy my little stockpile there. Now that they're assigned... This isn't going to disrupt it. They're already over here, I think. But now they didn't have to go there first. Because it wasn't calling for them. So now they can go directly to here. Okay. So you saw that happen, right? You need something to happen and it's just not happening. Make your best guess as to what's holding it up and get rid of that. And then the game will reassign everything. And now we're good. So this is going to get built. You... Yeah, everything is here. Whoa, 
The side scrolling, yeah. So someone's gonna walk over and build this soon and it'll be up and running again and we'll be crushing again. And I want, let's see, this is the export. I want export of various ores and import of all of the ores. So crushed ores and out and ores in. And that is that group. I don't remember what these guys are. They're just waiting for whatever. Yeah. So we'll figure that one out some other time. You are up and running again. Kick you up so that someone actually comes over and does that. We have um, iron and we have fuel. And you are still occasionally making the fuel. Don't know where that is stored. I think it's in this one. So soon. Soon. And then soon I've got to shut this down. Oh! That's right, we got traders. Yeah, I kind of blanked that one out. So let's. Five tomatoes and five corn. We have one already. I was going to say, let's shut these down and just get the, the linens in. But let's get the, the seeds in. Let's do that. So next year, if this game is this map is still running next year, we've got seeds available. So next time, we'll do the linen. Linen did get brought. There are 12 of them here if we want them. But yeah, let's get seeds coming in. So seeds first. Um, potatoes, kick your priority down. Food, we talked about that. 494, we had 500 and something. So we are losing on food. But now we got four cauldrons. So this seems to be working now. Which means we're not going to be using any more of our rock bread. Except for... Did the... This probably happened and I didn't even see the pop-up, huh? It probably did. You're right there. Yeah, I didn't get to watch it. But they made short order of that. In fact, let's give them a new assignment then. And yeah, maybe next time we'll see it. I don't know what happens if you hunt out... Hey, we have some mushrooms over here. Miltonia. Whoa, I didn't do that. Elfsbane and Purple Helmet. Um, those are the, those are the good ones. <laughs> I don't know what happens if I hunt out all the deer. Will the game replace them? Will the game replace them randomly or back to the same place? Randomly meaning maybe back in our area. Hmm. Let's put a hunting order in for these four deer. And just give them something to do. They can practice on their test dummies and they can practice on the real thing. Since we don't have any real enemies to go after right now. Except for elephants. And I ain't stupid. I'm not going after an elephant. <laughs> Alright, so they will be hunting. Food is happening. Fish are happening. I'd love to see it actually happen though. Never seem to witness that. But planks are happening. Things are getting built. We're not mining anything. Well, we kind of are. That's new. So little by little. I think we discovered there were only two miners. Oh, well, there's three. One's a farmer, two are farmers. So they're always busy, and one is a stonemason making all these pipes, which are little by little, we're almost there. A little bit over here, and then there'll be no more jobs ahead of these two. Maybe then these two will get worked on. That could be. Maybe next episode we'll get to see that. So running and anything else that I... Hey, we got this going, and we are... No, we're building? We're using? What are we doing? You are forging it. Oh, it's only half done. Yeah. Let's see that happen. That is Darby. She's been with us since the beginning. And poof. Well, that was not very dramatic. What the heck? <laughs> Actually, turn you down. You were, they were using you and you like crazy last time. Though I do want more plates. So yeah, we'll turn you up. I want to make sure that we're ahead of this plate thing. So with that, am I done? War. Battle. We're not done. Of course we're not. Oh, this isn't even. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. This is, ow. Hey, I'm trying to sleep here. Knocked unconscious. Okay, but it's dark. Bet you they have a hard... No, we got that one done. Now, you going after the next one? Wow, so hunting at night, that's when you win. 
Uh huh. That doesn't seem very fair, but uh, well, we got to chase this one. And you are now eating. You're going to bed, right? You're going to sleep. Heck with this. And your stats are way low. You've got to go. Yeah, drinking from the river. So you, your food is up, but you're, you're, yeah. So they'll come back and do this tomorrow. I did set that in the afternoon, which was not the best timing, but you guys are leaving. We got seeds. We've got 15 hemp now, five corn, seven tomatoes. We've got a bunch of potatoes. And potatoes don't destroy in the winter. And they're a great crop to, uh, to eat with. So let's do that. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and do something like that. But potatoes and carrots. And probably wheat. But that is potatoes, right? <laughs> Thank you. And let's set some more uh, water irrigation ditches into here. Since soon we're actually going to have irrigation. Hmm, that would be kind of kind of nice. We do need, oh, we need to do gears. And gears come from the artisan bench. Which is what needs to go into here. Okay. Next time. Weapons Forge. Artisan's Bench. And then we need to get into Weaving. Which I'm kind of picturing out over here somewhere. Yeah. Something like that. It's a small... I think it's a small space. Weaving. It's a tank and a loom. And then an in and an out. Uh, in and a couple of outs. Rope is also an option there. So that won't take a lot of room. It could fit into here pretty easily. If, or Now actually over here it needs to be a dining table and a cauldron and a water barrel to support a larger army when the next wave of immigrants comes in. Yeah, I'm thinking ahead. So weaving will go somewhere. It could even be maybe up in here. Yeah, maybe half the stockpile doesn't need to be stockpiled. That sounds about right. Anyway, let's call this done. Go out and buy the game. For you, it'll be tomorrow if you're watching this as soon as this video comes out. I'm having a ball. I am. But there's lots of little problems, but I know all those problems are going to go away soon. I've been watching so many of them disappear just over this last week. So good things in the future for this game. So this is, like I said before, this is like when RimWorld first came out as Alpha. That's kind of where we are on this game. This is the next rim world in my mind catch you guys later thanks for watching bye bye